mob. Let me know if you guys can hear me. You guys in here? You guys in the house? NFC. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Okay, good. You can hear me? Can you see me? Is everything good? All right, you guys are back in the house. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, Christian Connors, my man. Uh, go, you know, Christian Connors, my man. He's part of the uh, Scope Mob um, and Dope Scope. Thank you so much, uh, Joseph Raymond. Thank you so much, uh, Denise, uh, BDM coach. Um, Morgan, everybody's on here low. Uh, like I said, do me a favor. Give me some hearts. You know, give me some love. I'm going to wrap this up relatively quickly. But the thing I want to say is I had a question um, from, uh, from Bella 30, La, La Chica Bella 30 or 80. Um, she's asking, she's a freelance makeup artist. She was asking about how to get her money up. And I said the bank, the same thing that I said to, I spoke to a couple of makeup artists and freelance artists I know who do a lot of TV. And a lot of them were saying the same thing is like, they want to do the same thing. They didn't know how to get their money up. I said, there are people who are charging three times, four times what you're charging and they're getting work. I know the guy who does the hair and makeup for Michelle Obama, who's here. Mike might know who he is as well, right? He's based here. There's a reason why he charges what he charges. La China, La China, La China. I don't know who she is. Um, but there's a guy who does that. And then there's also other people who, who charge peanuts, right? There are people who charge higher prices for weddings. I have a good friend who did my headshots. Um, he charges $10,000 for to, photo to, to photograph a wedding. He's a photographer. He charges $10,000 to photograph weddings. I also know people who charge a couple hundred dollars to photograph weddings and they think they're making out, right? There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a reason why people will pay this guy, you know, two, three, four, five hundred dollars to photograph, you know, a 10 hour, eight hour wedding. And my buddy makes $10,000 per wedding flat. Don't even call him if you can, if you have your budgets less. If you, you can't afford to do, you can't afford to pay him 10 grand. He's not even trying to pick up the phone or talk to you. And, but yet the other guy, there's another guy I know does weddings. He charges $500 per wedding, which is crazy, right? So there's a difference and it's not the equipment. It's not the experience. This guy that I know that charges 10 grand didn't even go to photography school. He teaches at, at uh, the Art Institute, right? Now he does. So my point is very simple. Uh, you know, um, La, La China, I think it's La China or La China. La China, if you are on this and you want to get your money up, the first thing you got to do is think about how can I incrementally increase my rates? That's it, right? There's somebody else who's, who's charging double, th three times, four times what you charge, triple, quadruple what you charge, and they're just charging it. And you deserve to charge more depending on the value you bring. Now, if you equate yourself with everybody else who's paying, who's charging lower, then that's not going to work either. Can you guys hear me? Is anybody here? It really looks like people are here, but you can't. Okay, you guys can hear me. Okay, 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 awesome. And so, so I'm going to wrap this up real quickly. So I'm, you know, that's, I, I want to, I don't want this to, to crash, but that's basically, that's basically my point, Right. The point, um, La Chica Bella 80, is that you have to figure out exactly, right, why your customers and your clients use you, right? You got to figure out why they use you, right? Why do they go to you? Why don't they go to somebody else? Why are they on Groupon trying to find the next hairstylist so they can pay $15 to get their hair done, right? I was, I, and then one more story I'll tell you before I wrap. I did a, a, um, a radio show on Sirius XM around, by last year, uh, I forgot her name, um, God, she's going to kill me. But it's an amazing way. It's a business radio show. And I was on there talking for about an hour about my book and about a bunch of other things about pricing. This lady called and said, uh, how do I, same thing. She's like, how do I raise my prices? I'm a hair, she's a black woman. How do I raise my prices? Because I'm a hairstylist. I asked her, I said, look, she's like the person that's next to her nearby to her, right? They charge half of what she charges. And she needs, she still needs to raise her price. I said, well, when do people come to you? She's like, well, after they go to the other person, lost me again. Well, they go, after they go to the other person, right, and their hair gets messed up, they come to me to fix it. And I said, that's exactly why you should raise your prices because you're not the other person messing up people's hair. Basically what that other person, the people who come to you to get your, their hair fixed is that they're paying a price for, go, for going to the cheaper, cheaper uh, option to begin with. Some things are price sensitive. Hair and makeup is not one of them. Some things are price sensitive, like getting paint, getting cereal, who cares? Getting gas, I, I don't know the difference between the gas the different gas uh, that's out there. I have no clue. So as a result, if I don't know the difference, all I'm going to do is go to the one that's the cheapest. See La Chica, Bella 80, you're not the cheapest. 
You bring value. Someone's paying you because when they're done, when you're done, when they're done working with you, they look beautiful. If they're, if they're trying to do television or pictures or weddings, they want to look phenomenal. And that's what you bring. So you need to figure out why. Simple question is ask your clients. Why do, why do, why do you come to me? Why, what do you like about me? What am, I, what am I providing you that you really enjoy that makes you come to me and be loyal to me? And they'll tell you, they'll tell you the answer. And if that's, if the answer is consistent enough, that's what you focus on. And if the, the answer is consistent enough, you focus on that and you start sending, shell, selling it out with other people. Look, this is what, this is what I focus on. This is why I'm an expert in this, right? Hope that makes sense. Um, if you guys can hear me, if you're still there, uh, let me know, uh, bang out the hearts. I appreciate it. It seems like you guys are coming in and out. I've already done three takes. I may do one more take. I'm watching on two devices. You, you've lost connection to my iPad, but I'm working fine on my Mac. Okay, I don't know. I think it's, it has to be Periscope then. If, if, if you're if you're if you're uh, on two devices, you can hear me. Um, what I would say is La Chica, Bella, eighty. I think that's it. Um, do me a favor and catch the replay and what I said. But real quick, basically, what I'm what I'm trying to say is is real quick is you need to you need to figure out why people work with you to begin with. When you have the answer to that, that will dictate why you can charge more and why you can get your money up with those existing clients, right? Thank you so much, Destiny. Um, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, you deserve to make more money. You're not just another hair, you know, hair and makeup person, right? Like I said, there are people I know who do Michelle Obama's hair. They do Michelle Obama's makeup. They're on Air Force One every time she travels somewhere. They're getting paid lots of money. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I don't know why that is. Um, and they're making lots of money. Yet there are other people who are struggling to do hair and makeup. Why is it that there has to be a difference? We deserve to make it. Same thing with you, Destiny. You deserve to make more money. Whatever, whatever you're currently charging, there's, there's a need that you need to figure out as to why people would want to pay you more. And once you figure out that need, and you know exactly that why people like you, and you can ask them, why do you like what I do? Just ask your, your clients, ask your customers, why do you like what I do? If they answer you, then you know exactly what to focus on. People say it's down to, some, some people say that, but I disagree, right? Because if that's the case, it can, anything, you can say that about almost anything. Down to economics, I can go buy the cheapest car for $5,000 or I can go buy, you know, a $100,000 Maserati. And it's not about having the money, right? More experience equals more money. Maybe. No, I know what you mean, maybe. But in the same token, there are people who are, a lot of people, I don't know how it is in the UK, but in the US, a lot of people are, 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 are financing their cars. There, I know, I know what you mean. Oh, I don't have this experience. I see what you mean. Um, a lot of people are financing their cars. Now, don't worry about it. No worries. And so as a result of that, a lot of times, and sometimes they experience, maybe they see that they, they want experience. Like that could be, you, you, you may be right. That's your industry. So, you know, um, but I really, I really believe that people pick something, choose something for a particular reason. When they do, that's what, that's what you, that's what we need to hone on and focus on. So, uh, uh, La Chica, Bella, 80. Um, yeah, we're, you're fine. Okay. <coughs> I figured, I figured, I figured as much. I wasn't sure. It's been a long time since I've been to the UK. Um, everybody's, everybody's cars on finance, you know, until we started collecting dollars like that and paying in cash. Um, all right, Destiny, thank you for being here. Uh, thanks everybody for being here. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor. If you like this scope, um, this is a take three, send it to everybody else. I think you're the only one talking. I think you're the only one on here. No one else can hear me. Everything else is frozen. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I might try to do take four to say goodbye and say thank you and to apologize for this nonsense. And I'm also going to put the link to my uh, to my book that people can get for uh, a signed copy. All right, I'll be right back. Are you here? Can you hear me? Lo, can you hear me? <coughs> Anybody else can hear me? Lo's there. No need to apologize. Thank you. I don't think I, I, I know there are people on here because I'm looking at it. There's a lot of people who are live viewers. It's like they had me on mute. Vita, are you there? Morgan, NASCAR, Jerry, Alice, JC Eagle, Merlico, Mike, Christian, JC Eagle 20, Chrissy Love Coach, anybody else on here? Um, but I want to tell you basically real quick is that, um, is that uh, hard work, doesn't necessarily matter. Not working on my phone, only computer. I see, I see. I have a habit to watch people on two devices. Okay, yeah, so it has to be the computer then. Something about the phones is not, it's not transmitting well. I need to figure out, figure out what that is. Um, it has to be Periscope then. 
um, one goes, the other usually works. Yeah, that's that's really sad. Okay, I'm gonna try one more to, to say goodbye to everybody and thanks for coming in. Donald, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being here. Hard work is not enough. Hard work doesn't mean squat to your dreams. It's the action you do that's deliberate. It has to be deliberate and intentional. If it is not getting you towards that purpose, it doesn't matter, right? So I'll see you in one bit. I'll see you in two seconds. 